You know, it comes to mind, when you try to access the Seraphone, there is one negative, overlooming problem with it. But I'll get into that in a second. We- I don't know about this. I'm not scared of you. We got a very interesting mirage going on here. It looks pretty powerful. Usually the twins say that kind of dialogue whenever it's uh, not a good matchup. I have no idea why I'm in my items. I don't need that. Uh, what I do need is not that either. So I guess I'll just straight up go for that. We got a Titan. Uh, they're, they're pretty they're pretty extreme pretty extreme pretty tough uh, as you can tell we're not doing too much damage to it. Uh, Libra seems to dictate that uh, We got to land a critical hit in order to get it. That's fantastic. It's weak against wind and darkness, so uh, Take that as you will we just have to well on it until magic happens It does a lot of damage, but we both have Cura going on uh, Don't need to get the Libra going <laughs> I should probably turn off repeat anyways so worst case scenario I will just keep constantly healing myself up to snuff uh, likewise we just kind of have to hope that we hit a critical also guys wrath something to be wary about so yeah I think Titan looks pretty legit pretty awesome can't really do too much to him so I guess, for all intents and purposes, I'm just gonna cut it right here and now. Oh no, they toppled. It's all good. Prison, baby. Pri I did it! You can definitely cheap out harder things to... Harder things to battle if you imprison them. It's a very useful tactic when you're outmatched. Especially like a Titan, man. I, I didn't want to spend a long route of just exchanging hits to have this thing die. I wanted to capture it. <laughs> In all honesty, I have to catalog this thing because uh, very rare, much like the Phoenix back in the volcano in uh, Fire Valley 7, I think it was. Anyways, yeah, the Titan. Very cool. Very awesome. Turns into that thing that Terra summoned. Madun or whatever. I can't pronounce it. Leave it with Seraphie. Uh, and that's that. That's the Titan. That's why you had to unlock, what is it? Oh man, I got the Titan Memento. Is that even useful? Because, I mean, if I had Madun, I mean, I think the only And You know what? It doesn't matter. Point is, got a Titan. And now I'm just gonna use my items to get out of here. Miscellaneous teleport stone. There we go. That's the one. That's the thing. I don't need to stay here. What I need to do is go all the way back to the top because there was something very unique all the way up there. Also, I might as well go get some form of transportation. You see, I was going to use one of my extra large mirages, but the problem with that is if you're in the middle of nowhere, like I was, and use a seraphone, um, these things do not get healed up, and bacon can become a behe monster, but I don't want to do that. I just want to trans transfigure, you know, I want to transfigure you back into your large form. Uh, Gilm's back into his ultra mega awesomeness form, the Iron Giant. Uh, everything else is pretty legit. I just want some joyriding going on here. Anyways, so let's go see all this crazy, whatever this is, symbols. Uh, looks like a giant eye thing, like a third eye of the apocalypse. Cut me some slack, door! Do you really think talking to it is gonna help? Maybe all this time, it wanted this someone to open up to. Oh, come on. I mean, anything is possible after all the weird stuff we've seen happen. Not the possible. And also dumb. Dude, what? But I can always just add this one to the pile. Another lawn moment? So how many am I up to now? These symbols seem to be earth, water, fire, and wind. It's the four elements. That's the right. You the know your stuff. Our mom taught us about them when we were... Uh Rain, you remember? Huh? No, I just... Where did that come from? Maybe you've been to here. Or it could be your mother is somewhere close to the by. 
Really? Hey, I said the maybe. Uh, oh, well, yeah, of course. Uh, so what's up with the four symbols? They're probably the tie to what we call a quadrelement's barrier. Each element is defended by its own, the separate mirage. In other words, we're dealing with at least four different mirages. You the got it. All right, then. Let's track them down and... Hey, Rain, what's wrong? Huh? Yeah. We need to find the mirages guarding the four elemental locks. She wasn't even paying attention and still summarized it better than me. You do kind of have a habit of branching the off on tangents. Yep, those lawn moments are really piling up. Shall we? Let's shall. You know, I want to inspect this pile. Oh, don't even the bother. It's so the deep you can never place. be able to see it all. I know I remember it. Piles aren't deep, they're tall, but right? when could I have possibly come here? Wait. Hey, Rain. Don't these kind of remind you of the keys we collected? What? Uh, yeah, you're right. Maybe the keys keep them from falling into the wrong the hands? Oh, dude! I've got the right hands. I'm so worthy to use them. <laughs> Cut me some slack, sword. Weird. Are these weapons even meant to be used? Given their size, it does seem kind of the strange. You do have a point. Even Cloud would have trouble swinging around one of these. And look, they have the same light as the Quadrelements barrier. It's possible that they're locked down by the same forces. Then I guess, first we'll have to the deal with those four elemental locks. All right, let's get this show on the road. So, my take is we got some Keyblade things, not like... Very different from Kingdom Hearts. Uh, we got this gate thing that's tied to the four elements. Very Final Fantasy-esque. Uh, and crystals. What do they represent? What do they do? Who really knows at this point? Only one way to find out. Oh, th this is all new and confangled. Uh, I guess I'll just go on the path of... Where, what? So obviously with green means wind, and with wind means I'm about to fight some sort of wind fiend, uh, and if my knowledge is correct, that would be Tiamat, or something along the lines of a giant multi-headed hydra dragon thing. Uh, I played Final Fantasy. Also a sandworm. What are you doing here? I can't really qualify this as a new area. I mean, I technically could, but I'm, I'm not going to go that route because that's stupid. And uh, I'm better than that. If this was a Nuzlocke, I mean, it, I don't think it would count. Also, you're you're doing a lot of damage. More than I expected you to do so. Jesus Christ, they just overwhelmed me. That was unfortunate, but you know what? That's fine by me. Everything happens for a reason, and you know what? Time to get Pip up, uh, Lawn and Alflame up, and then get them stacked. And then, because I like them so much, get some cure action going. Yeah. And might as well throw in an extra one just to be on the safe side. Because, I mean, oh, they missed an evade counter. Oh, finally, Alflame's got it going on. Uh. As for rain stack, apparently Jaws has this ability to kind of hover much like a water Pokemon would be able to do, or a bird type Pokemon would be able to do, anything flying really. Uh, they have that unique ability to avoid ground attacks, something along those lines if you catch my meaning. Anyways, since they're hovering, uh, Earth attacks don't really seem to affect them, but they do affect Lon and his stack, which is unfortunate. Also, we got gravity going on. Well, That's that do not okay. good. If memory serves me right, gravity is not lethal in the sense that it'll kill you, but it does cut your HP by a certain percentage, like half or a quarter. Or, uh, you know, something odd like that. Anyways, all that said, I gotta heal up because, you know, 
everyone's health is kind of important. It dying is not pleasant. And there's not really a whole lot to explore from the looks of it. So clearly I gotta be going towards something. Oh. Another staircase. Fantastic. I was a little confused. Gotta admit. Yeah, no, it comes to mind. Did I even lever these things? Well, I mean, use a mini golem. I mean, I already have one that I got Geo, dude. He kind of died. I haven't really used him. And then land a counterattack. I figured I might as well just refresh everyone's minds on the Libra imprisoning status. I don't intend to do anything with these guys. But it, it might be handy to show that off just before I move on and start cutting all these battles. Because, let's face it, a uh, refresher might be nice for everyone involved. If they're playing along and I don't know why you would but hey I'm not judging you're probably doing a better job than I am in fact you're probably way more ahead if you already started this at the beginning in fact you might be done with the game I, I wouldn't doubt it you're probably done uh, I digress not the point of any of this progress is truly what we got going on I guess we're doing oh this. Hey, little Moogle friends. I haven't seen you since the uh, the forest, the Pyroglow Forest, the thing that reminds me of the Mana series. Uh, you're pretty weak. I, I guess I'll just annihilate all of y'alls. Restore their health if y'all really want to capture one. A little refresher. I have to show off everything. This is a little more wind-like, if I do say so. I mean, the Toad definitely enforces it, but the Moogles kind of have the flying thing going for them, so it makes a little more sense in my opinion. Uh, I'm still pretty confused. I wasn't ready for this. I mean, you're just recycling enemies, but then again, you can only do so much, so I, I don't blame you. It's just... Uh, that, you're just, you're just throwing me off. I can't do anything with that. That's impassable. So, I guess there's only one way to go. Makes sense, right? Everyone understands. I uh, figured I'd go to the feet. What? Oh. Oh, okay. Alright. It's cool. Save point. I don't need it. I take it back. I can restore everyone's health and what have you. Oh my god, look at these things. Wasn't ready. Two for one? Get ready! They're coming this way! That eerie noise! It just sounds like the howling of wind! So this must be the Windlock's Keeper. Okay, but why does it have so many heads? Well, in that case, uh... Wrong stack. So I will just go on and tag this thing. Because I have no idea what it is. Uh, all that said, now it's time to use the Libra action. Uh, we got. Damn that. Hey, yeah, I got that. Asterisk? What is Asterisk? What, I mean, it's a bull thing. Got it. Uh, Unimprisonable. It's cool. You get the memento for it. You get mementos for fighting these bosses. I figured I might as well do that while we're here. Uh, we definitely got win bulldoze. <laughs> that does heavy duty damage. Not something I really want to deal with. Okay. Uh, and then of course... Oh. Oh. Wrong stack. Gilm's really being a Gildom right here. Okay, uh, well, we'll stop her first off, because let's be honest, I don't want you guys to topple. Secondly, I do need to get familiarized with the Taya mats. Because let's be honest, it would be nice to figure out what we got going on here. It looks epic, though. Uh, on a prismal. You can get the memento. You'll see what we got going on here. Ice for that guy, and. Looks like this thing is earth. It's very earthy, mainly because it's weak against wind, but uh, yeah, take that as you will and destroy both of them. Uh, I'm going to use water because it's weak against it. Oh, jeez. 
Uh, so... I, I guess I'll use some pure action. You ever get that feeling that this shouldn't be as hard as it is? Like, maybe, I don't know, we should, uh... Have Geldum come save the day. to kill some bitches with uh, the Grand Sword ability. When you got multiple targets and you don't know what to do, Grand Sword gets it done. Acid Mist, are you serious? Are you serious? Are you seriously trying to do what I think you're trying to do? You're trying to, you're trying to knock me off? You're trying to get me down so I don't get up again? <laughs> nah, man. Uh... I'm just gonna buy my time and slowly chip away your health because you can't do jack shit. Acid Miss Quake <laughs> ain't doing dick. You ain't got nothing on Gildum. Unfortunately, my AP is not gonna last as much as I wish it could. Yeah, we ran out of AP. It's unfortunate. Uh, we're just gonna have to build that up again, and then we can summon Gildan to his greatness so that he can save the day once again. Jetfire, are you serious? We're resisting against that. Bulldozer, you dick. It didn't topple us, so we're fine. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna just kill Asterisk, because, you know, fuck this guy. Uh, I don't really I don't really want him on the board. I mean, he's using Bulldozer to try to be a dick, topple my stacks. It's a bad deal. Uh, as for Tiamat, I mean, yeah, you don't have enough to do Cura, but you know who does? Lon. Lon has enough. Lon can save the day. There we go. Much better. Well, if I had my little way, we'll just chip your health and you'll die. Oof. Acid Mist is painful. Uh, not really, we're pretty resistant against that, I'm not gonna worry too much about it, but, uh, you're still a dick, and I hate you, and I wish you would die in fire, but I don't have fire, because my guys are water, so, uh, they're very water-based, but you're dead either way, Jaws will take a bite out of you, he's pretty much overkill, uh, Piplup is also pretty good now, uh, I, I kinda like, I kind of like her. Uh, Tiamat and Asterisk Memento. So now I can use those. Except Asterisk is not really in... It's not really in my cards. Because I don't really have a Sistor or a Minotaur that I can use. Uh, but Billy Zane can totally make use of the Tiamat card. That took the care of two of the locks at once. Oh, nice. Since we beat two Mirages... We just need one more pair. Yeah, they're not going to make you do four individual paths at once. It's, it's two at a time, which is nice. You know, get half the work, half the work later. Uh, speaking of half the work later, next time, you know what I'm saying?